welcome back to Praise Kids everyone and uh, this month we've been kicking around the idea of humility. Hey, oh, I wonder where Miss Carlene is. Oh, hello, Miss Kelly. Hey, praise kids. Hey, uh, can you can you let us in on what is the bottom line for this month? Oh, this month's bottom line is humility is putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. Ah, oh, that's right, that's right. And the memory verse says it like this. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, don't do anything only to get ahead. Don't do it because you are proud. Instead, be humble about you. Sounds nice, but it's not always easy, is no. it, Pastor Luke? No, it's not always easy, Mrs. Carling. Thankfully, Jesus has shown us and given us an example of how to do it. Uh, but before we get into our story today, uh, we're going to test our humility skills. And Michael and Anthony, yeah, they're going to uh, show us how it's done in the game. And if you want to play along at home and uh, see how good your dribbling skills are, uh, and I mean with a soccer ball, uh, you can play along. So uh, listen up and Miss Penny will explain how it's done. All right guys, so today we're going to be doing blindfold soccer time trials. So that means you have to have a blindfold, you get a soccer ball, and you have to kick the ball all the way around the rope. But you've got to be blindfolded, all right? The fastest one to do that will be the winner. And kids at home, if you are um, wanting to practice this at home with your brothers and sisters or even your dog, you just need to make sure you've got a blindfold on too. Ready? back to the tree all right again time trials we'll try it without goggles this time all right go racing oh, it's nice. you picked the closest tree too <laughs> You have to be back with it, quick, run! <laughs> uh. Last activity guys, bit of goal shooting, see how good your goals are. But, that tree was far too easy. Goggles are back on, you're blindfolded again. We're just going to keep going until you can get it in. Alright, two, one. Ooh, failed. Oh, missed again. Yes! Nice. What are we going to do for praise and worship today? Oh, uh, today it's all about reaching out to a well that's lost. And uh, so we first of all we're going to sing about being ready for Jesus' return. Oh, I like that song. Be ready, 
Yep. yep. And then yes. we're going to be singing about voices of freedom oh, because lots of energy in that song. Because yes. Paul and Silas, even when they were uh, going through trouble, they were singing, and God brought about a great breakthrough, not only for them but for a lost world too. The Philippian jail got saved, and then we're going to sing about. What was the third one that's coming? The Lord gives wisdom. The Lord wisdom. gives wisdom. Because what, what wisdom? it's not always easy to know what we should do and how to reach out when it comes to, to telling others about Jesus. So we, we need wisdom. We need wisdom. So let's go check it out right now. Let's go. There's a storm that's near, we'll want to grab a coat to wear, an umbrella too would be something good, so that we can be prepared, well Jesus said we should plan ahead, because he's coming back one day. should always watch and pray and we'll be glad when the Lord comes back if we're trusting him
give me purpose, you keep your promise I hear your spirit call to me To be the difference, to live for Jesus To shine a light now for all to see Kylie, have you got what it takes? I think so. For what? For the Bible charge. To, to be beat you. To beat me? Without bookmark. Don't worry about me. I'd be concerned about some of those awesome praise kids. Oh, you they've think they've been, been reading the Bible been, this week? They've been pumping Bible line this week. All they've week. Been, they've been getting ready. They've been sharpening the sword. I mean, they, they are sharp. They're going to be ready to go. So, Bible's up. Okay, are you ready? Try and get mine as high as yours. Ready, Matthew 28, 19, go! Go, 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 go. Matthew. Oh, Matthew. 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 25, 26, 27. I got it. You beat me. You go for it, Miss Cullen. You go Matthew for it. Matthew 28, 19. 19. Says, Therefore, mm -hmm. go and make disciples of all nations, all nations. baptizing them in the mm -hmm. name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah, and then it says in verse 20, Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you, and be sure of this, I am with you always, 
even to the end of the age. And we're going to learn a little bit about that in our, in our story today. But before we go there, Miss Colleen, we were around at uh, Mr. Michael and Anthony's place. Yes, and they have a cruel dog called Frank. Frankie is cruel. Frank. Yes. And Mr. Mud, he, uh, he gave that dog a few instructions. A few commands. Yes, check this out. Four, sit down. <laughs> he did it. He's so excited, good boy. Oh, oh. And do you know what? Jesus has given us a command, and even even dogs who aren't as smart as humans, they can follow commands. And how much more should we follow Jesus' command? So let's go and have a look at how to do that today in our story. Let's go. Come on. Last week we celebrated the Easter story together. The day we celebrate that Jesus rose from the dead. What an incredible day that was for Jesus' friends. When he had been arrested and killed, his friends felt as though they were living in a nightmare. So three days later, when Jesus rose from the dead, they were filled with joy. Everything that Jesus had talked about was coming true. But in some ways, the whole thing must have seemed like a dream especially when Jesus appeared in the same room with them, even though the door was locked. Jesus ate with the disciples and showed them the scars in his hands from the nails and the hole in his side from the sword to let them know that he was real. But Thomas wasn't there at the time. I must see the nails marks for myself. That's the only way I believe, Thomas insisted. A week later, Jesus appeared again. This time, Thomas got to see him as well. My Lord and my God, Thomas exclaimed. Jesus continued to show up for his friends over more than a month. He walked along the road with two of them. And later, he told Peter where to catch fish. Jesus even made breakfast on the beach for Peter and several of the other disciples. He reminded his friends that everything he had done on earth was a part of God's plan to rescue his people. He quoted old prophecy to them that reminded them that the Messiah was going to suffer, but he would rise from the dead on the third day. But Jesus also made it clear the story was just the beginning. After 40 days, Peter and Thomas and the others climbed the Mount of Olives, excited to see Jesus once more. They were probably imagining what Jesus had in store for the future. Was he going to get rid of the Romans and finally make himself an earthly king? After all, he could do anything, clearly, since he had come back from the dead. But they also may have been remembering what Jesus had told them before in Galilee. Let's read from the book of Matthew. So you must go and make disciples of all the nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Maybe Jesus wanted to talk to them more about that. At last, they reached the top of the mountain where Jesus was waiting for them. The disciples gathered around Jesus. They couldn't wait any longer to discover what was going on. They asked Jesus if he was going to give the kingdom back to Israel now. Let's read what he said to them. You should not be concerned about times or dates. The Father has set them by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. Then you will tell people about me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and you will even tell other people about me from one end of the earth to the other. The disciples didn't have long to consider what Jesus had said. Before their eyes, Jesus began rising from the ground, up toward heaven. I know it sounds pretty full on, right? But it's true. Jesus continued to ascend until the clouds blocked their view, and Jesus was gone. As friends stared up into the sky, Two angels dressed in white appeared beside them. Let's check out what the angels said. Men of Galilee, why do you stand here looking at the sky? Jesus has been taken away from you into heaven. 
but he will come back in the same way you saw him go. Amazed and a bit dazed, the disciples finally climbed back down the hill to Jerusalem, reflecting on the huge, the big job Jesus had left with them. Jesus wanted everyone to hear about him, people all over the world. It was a massive job, but they could do it through God's power. And that's just what they would do. For the rest of their lives, Jesus' disciples would set aside their own plans. They dedicated their days to sharing the story of Jesus with everyone they met, both close to home and far from it. They did just what Jesus asked them to do. You and I can do what Jesus asked too. In fact, that's a great way to put others first. The bottom line for today is, I can put others first by doing what Jesus said. Hey, Pastor Luke, you know how I love road trips. Oh, you miss coming. Oh, but the borders are closed. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe the physical borders are closed. Yeah, okay. um, but you remember like last last week or a couple of weeks ago, you took us on a, a bit of a story. Yeah, yeah to, to the Garden of Gethsemane. Yeah, well, that was, yeah. how did you do that? Oh, in my imagination. Oh, okay, so... God gave us an imagination. Yeah. And, well, I think it's my turn to drive. Oh, okay then. Yeah, so yeah. Um, I'm going to take you on a trip today. Yeah. Uh, where would you like to go? Um, um, Paris. Paris? Oh. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Hey, uh. So, uh, put them yum. Uh, that's like French for yum eh? Oh, yeah, okay. Um. What did the, uh, the French fry say to um, his friend when he got run over? And he got the run over? Oh, yes, so that's what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, don't know what to Ah, puree! Uh -huh. okay. But uh, speaking of food, oh, yes? uh, do you have a croissant? Oh, sorry, uh, I meant to get you one, but I'll, I'll get you one later on, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, what do you want to do while you're here? Oh, well, while we're in Paris, uh, the Eiffel Tower. Um, I always love climbing things, so I was wondering, can I quickly scoot up there? I reckon it'd be a great view. Yeah, no, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh. But something equally exciting. Oh yeah. Is I thought we could go and make disciples. Oh yes, I'm I'm down for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, yeah. you know the verse we looked at this morning. Right. In our Bible chart. Yeah, Matthew twenty eight nineteen and twenty. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah, that's when Jesus told his disciples. That after he rose from the dead and before he went back to heaven, mm -hmm. that he wanted them to go and make disciples. Oh, that's right, yeah. Cool. Yeah, well, let's go make that happen. I'm down for obeying Jesus' commands. But um, could you just remind me again, what's a disciple? Oh, yeah, well, that's a pretty good question. Mm -hmm. And I probably should have started there. Right. But uh, a disciple is uh, a disciplined follower or a learner, someone who follows someone. Like like the kids at school yeah. when they go to class they, they learn from the teacher yeah. and uh, and then they're following their instructions. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. The student learns from the teacher oh, yeah. and Jesus' disciples they learn to follow and follow his commands. Oh, okay, okay. So um how do we make them? We make them the way Jesus made them. Oh, that's right. He he simply said, Follow me. That's right, Paul said. Imitate me or follow me as I follow Christ. Oh, that's right. That's right. So um, we should be like following Jesus so others will know how to follow him too. That's true. So the first thing that we have to do is to turn from our sins yeah. because Jesus, you know, he was perfect. Right. And then they'll be born again and they'll have a new heart. Then as they learn what Jesus taught for, from us, and they begin to read the Bible for themselves and obey it, they'll begin to do what is pleasing in God's sight. That's right. Things yeah. like praying, yeah. seeking God, yeah. being kind right. and caring for others. Yeah. So, because uh, we're Jesus' disciples, is Jesus the only one that can make disciples? Well, remember the scripture in Matthew before? Yeah. Yes. Well, who did Jesus ask? To make disciples um, for him. Go into all the world and make... He's talking to the disciples. He's talking to all of us. That's we, right. Those who follow Jesus uh, are asked to go and make more disciples that follow Jesus. 
That's right. They might learn what Jesus said and did from us, yeah. but ultimately they are following Jesus, right. not okay. us. Okay. Because he is the only one that can save them. Because he is the only one that died to pay pay for their sins. Mm, okay. So you're saying that we are called to go all over the world and uh, teach others the good news, the good news that uh, we can be forgiven, uh, we can have eternal life, mm -hmm. And then we can get to know and follow God. That's right, all over the world. Oh, yeah. From Paris to school to the shopping center to the outback to the stadium to the moon. Uh, okay, maybe not the moon because no one lives there. That's true, yeah. But it doesn't matter. Where God asked you to go, Pastor Luke, yeah. because Jesus said, I will always be with you to help you. Where he's with us wherever we go. What a promise. Miss Colleen, yeah. I remember when I went to school with my friends, I was really nervous and a little bit scared about telling them about Jesus and making disciples. I didn't feel like I knew enough. I didn't feel like I could, uh, I did, wasn't, wasn't quite bold enough or, or courageous enough. But then, God really encouraged me one day as I read the Bible. And this is the scripture I read about Paul when he first went to the Corinthian church. And it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 1, When I first came to you, dear brothers and sisters, I didn't use lofty and impressive words. So he didn't pretend he had all the big words, the big words yeah. And impressive wisdom to tell you about God's secret plan. That's about making disciples, about uh, Jesus dying on the cross for our sin. He says, For I decided that while I was with you, I'd forget everything except Jesus Christ, the one who was crucified. I came to you in weakness, that's how I felt, timid and trembling, and my message and my preaching were very plain. And But rather than using clever and persuasive speeches, I decided uh, to rely on the power of the Holy Spirit. I did this so you would trust not in human wisdom, but in the power of God. And that really encouraged me, Miss Carleen, that I didn't need to have it all together. I just needed to trust in the one who did, in God and in his power, and just to simply share about Jesus dying for people's sins on the cross. That's right. We don't have to know exactly what to do. We simply have to trust in Jesus, rely on his strength yes. and power, and to tell others about him. Yep. And they can tell people they know. And they can tell the 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 people they know. Uh, and Mr. they can tell the people they know. Miss Carlene, I think I've got an illustration to help uh, try and say what you're trying to say. So just uh, check this out. Ready? Okay. Miss Carlin, we can be like the, the dominoes, like those people in that in that little clip. Yes, but I wouldn't suggest that you fall on them or you force oh. them. I think you just invite them because oh, yeah. at the end of the day, people have chosen to follow they have to Jesus. Make, they have to make a choice of their own choice. That's right. Right, okay. Right, so um, Miss Carlin, mm -hmm. um, do you know Jesus? I sure do. Yeah. And I follow him every day. Okay. Where are you going? Well, Miss Colleen, you already know about Jesus. Yeah. And there's, there's thousands, millions of people who don't know about Jesus. Oh. So I'm off to, uh, to ask them if they know Jesus and invite them to come and follow Jesus too, to make a disciple. Oh, hey, can I come too? Oh, yeah, yeah. come on, let's go. Yes. See you. So, Pastor Luke, yeah. that's all we've got time for this oh, week. Oh, man. Well, we've had a pretty awesome time. We have. We've seen some pretty amazing adventures. You took us on a bit of a pretty cool road trip, Miss Carlene. I love road trips. And we, uh, we discovered Jesus' most challenging, if you like, command for us that we need to go into all the world and make disciples. So uh, I think we're going to need some prayer uh, to help us to do that. So let's close let's our pray eyes. For the kids. Yep, let's, yep, let's ask God to help us to do that today before we go. So. Lord Jesus, we just thank you that you uh, showed us the way, Lord, to go into the world to make disciples. So we pray that you'd help us to follow your example. Lord, you said today is the day of salvation, Lord God. And even though uh, today is a, a different day, Lord, it's a day where sometimes we have to uh, stay inside, Lord. We have to stay uh, away from the activities we normally do. We ask for your strength 
and your wisdom and your help, Lord God, to be able to reach out and to tell others about you, Lord God. So we thank you, Lord, for the uh, kids going back to school and for their teachers. We pray you give them strength to learn. And those who are staying home, Lord, help them to work hard and to study and to uh, learn as well there. Lord, we just commit ourselves in, in this day uh, and this week to you, Lord. We give you the praise and thank you, Lord God, that you rescued us, Lord God. Help us to tell others this good news, Lord, of forgiveness for sin, of eternal life, Lord. And uh, Lord, that there is a great future awaiting them as they follow you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Awesome. Well, you have a fantastic week. See you and, guys. Uh, it's so I'm good to be I'm with you. We're missing you guys. Oh, we are missing you. See you one day soon. Oh, yes, yes. Bye, all. Bye. See, See ya. Y'all.